think you know what a big excavator looks like? Let's level that idea fast. Komatsu PC-8000-11. This mining giant weighs over 750 tons and stands 11 meters tall. Its bucket alone can move 75 tons of rock in a single scoop. Built for massive open pit mines, and it doesn't come cheap, around 9 million USD. Lieber R9800, often called the Rolls Royce of excavators. Nearly 810 tons, a 47 cubic meter bucket, and one scoop pulls 85 tons of material. Power, precision, and a price that matches, about 19 million USD. CAT 6090 FS. Now this is the heavyweight champion, the world's largest hydraulic excavator, 1,100 plus tons, nearly 20 meters tall, and a bucket that moves over 100 tons at once. Next to it, normal dump trucks look like toys. Cost? Roughly 34 million USD. Hitachi EX 8000-7. Compact compared to the King, but still a monster. Around 820 tons with a 52 cubic meter bucket capable of lifting 95 tons per scoop. A serious mining machine priced near 14 million USD. XCMG XE7000, China's first 700-ton class mining excavator, 672 tons, 60 tons per scoop, and proudly nicknamed China's number one dig. Estimated cost, 11 million USD. But even all of these fade when the final boss appears. Bagger 293, not just a machine, a moving skyscraper, 96 meters tall, the largest mobile land vehicle ever built. Designed to dig and move material non-stop, it doesn't scoop, it devours entire landscapes. Built in Germany and worth about 100 million USD. So here's the real question. Would you rather operate a supercar of excavators or control a machine that can reshape the earth itself?